Mass volume percent is a measure of how many grams of solute is dissolved in a certain volume of solution. Now that volume always has to be in milliliters, and because it's expressed as a percent, it's basically how many grams dissolve in 100 milliliters. The notes here are that the mass has to be in grams and the volume has to be in milliliters. What is the mass volume percent if you dissolve 12.4 grams of something to make 125 milliliters of solution? Well, by definition, mass volume percent has the number of grams of solute, the thing that's dissolved on the top of the fraction, and the volume in milliliters of the total solution. Remember, solution is the combination of solute and solvent. Here they told us it's 125 milliliters. Now to get the units of percent, you can multiply by 100. Some teachers will leave that off and just convert it to a percent by moving the decimal place later. On my calculator here, that's 12.4 divided by 125. I get 0 0.0992 as a percent. That ends up being 9.92. And you'll write percent M over V as your unit. Now, this number had three significant figures, and this number had three significant figures, so three significant figures is right here. Lastly, as uh, 140 milliliter tube of toothpaste contains 0.3% mass by volume of sodium fluoride. I actually looked up Crest, and uh, Crest Kids has that concentration of it. How much actual sodium fluoride is in that tube? Here, you're being given the mass volume percent. It's 0.3. You're being asked for the mass, and given the volume, remember the volume has to be in milliliters here. Now, I didn't convert this percent into a decimal. It would have been 0.003. I'm going to write my times 100 here. And now, to solve for the mass, I have to undo the things that are on this side of the equation. I can undo timesing by 100 by dividing by 100 on this side. And I can undo dividing by 140 by multiplying 140 on this side. That's going to be 140 times 0.3 divided by an extra 100. That gives me 0 0.42, and that unit is in grams because it is the mass. Now, this number has two significant figures because there's no decimal point after the 140. This one only has one significant figure, so if your teacher cares about those, you'd have to write 0 0.4 grams instead. Anyways, mass volume percent as a number is generally how many grams there are per 100 milliliters of solution. Your mass has to be in grams, your volume has to be in milliliters, and you times it by 100 to get percent. Beautiful. Best of luck.